Yes, yeah, so what's up, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Yes, my name is Malik Sterling, and if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, kindly make sure to subscribe. So today, guess where we are? We are at the Doha Metro Station. Now, this is like the one of the rapid driverless um, train stations in the whole world. Just imagine. So today, I'm going to um, um, walk you through how to use this metro station. I know if you are in Doha, yeah, maybe it's just like this to you, but um, for the international fans and people who will be joining us for the for the World Cup, this is their this is going to be like the major uh, um, um, means and ways of their transportation. So yeah, today I'm going to walk you through how to use it, how to how to get the card. I mean, how to buy the card and how to top up and everything else you would want to know about this metro station. So guys, follow me. Let's go inside and uh, make sure to stick and stay till the end of this video. Let's go. So guys, we are, we are about three floors down, like it's an underground, right? So yeah, you can see people also trying to top up their card from here. Let's go show you how they do it. So uh, do I need to be in a queue? Yeah, I think so. Let's see how much I have on my card. So guys, this card right here was given to me by FIFA. That was um, during the FIFA Arab Cup. Yeah, uh, you know, they give uh, metro cards uh, that you can access almost all the um, transport systems. Yeah, that was just by the way. So this one was given to me by FIFA and it was unlimited. So I, until, until the game was over, it was, still, it was still accessible. But now since the game is over, now, but I still have the card, you know, I can still use the card. So I'll just go, when she finished, I'll go and then I'll check uh, how much I have on it and see how much I can top up. Even if I have some balance, I'll still top up. So guys, this is, a, this is like a touch screen. So you're just going to insert your card here. Let's see how much we have. Oh, so I have just six reals. Which is about $1.5, dollars, I think. I don't know. So you're just going to um, select top up. So uh, how much are we going to top up? Let's see. We will top up with 10 reals. Because each, each um, trip is, is about two reals. So we're just going to top up with um, 10. So... Yeah. Of course, you need to keep your money clean all the time. So I'm just going to insert it here. That's all. Take it easy, man. It's my own money. Okay, so you just have to wait. So it's going to ask you whether uh, you would want to take a receipt or not. So, you know, we don't need to mess the whole place up. So we, we will just select no. We don't want a ticket. But it's okay. If you want a ticket, you can select the yes. So that's all. It's done. So take your card. For security reasons, I mean, I'm from Africa. I need to double check if my top up was successful. So I'll check once more. There you go. I had six. So now I topped up 10 reals. Now I have 16. Yeah, that's all, guys. So um, let's go inside. So guys, this is how it goes. There you go. So guys, this is like, this is like the map. So you will, if, uh, I mean, if you are new, then you will always have to check on this map and see if you are at your destination. Also, there's a um, automated um, um, machine or automated conductor, which always um, tells the location that you are and uh, where you are going to be next. So you can see on the um, screen over there, those are the locations. So it runs in both Arabic and in English. Yeah.
Okay, so guys, you can see from this side as well. If uh, in case you are riding this um, train and you and you run out of um, battery, yeah, you can always keep your battery. Um, I mean, you can always keep your charger with you, and you can charge your phone here. And also, this is where if um uh, this is for just like handicaps or if you have a baby in a in a in a baby trolley, this is where you can keep your baby. And and um, recently, I've seen a lot of people with this um scooters parking their scooters right over here but i know it's meant for luggages and things like that i mean people who are from the airport it's meant for them so just as we do have different classes of service on a plane that is the first class business class and the economy class here in the doha metro we have classes as well the gold family and standard So guys, we are here at my destination. So this is how to use the card. There's this small screen here, it's like a sensor. I think this is the same um, uh, um, me mechanism they use at the stadium. Just tap, it opens, and then you just walk through. That's all, that is easy. They're going to use the same mechanism at the stadiums as well. So you can see a lot of people uh, purchasing or topping up their cards from here. Yeah, so guys, we are at the Wakra metro station. This is at the western side of Qatar and it's about 17.5 kilometers away from the capital city. That's, that's Doha. So now, this, this metro station is closer to Al Janoub. So during the World Cup, there will be shuttles here. I mean, there will be buses here ready to pick up um, fans and whosoever that is going to the stadiums to enjoy the games. There will be, there will be a whole number of buses over here. Uh, which are going to transport you from here to the to the main main stadium and after the game yeah they will drop you back here again then you can just um go with the metro again because uh, just remember from the beginning of this video i told you this is like the, the most convenient way and the um less expensive way and like the cheapest way to travel in doha here that is if you don't have um your own car or i mean you don't have a private car or something like that um, during the world cup um, i mean arab cup it was open like the whole day the whole um day i think 24 hours yeah and guys i don't know if you've noticed this bag over here i don't know who this bag belongs to but i asked this guys over here they are uber drivers uh, i asked them what this bag is doing here guess what they told me they said ah, they don't know who this bag belongs to so i'm sure this bag is going to be here until the owner comes back and i can see a lot of people have smoked here guys you can smoke but don't drop it here let's let's try and keep Qatar clean just like you keep your your your, your homes i'm sure these are like irresponsible people who just smoke and drop it around here guys yeah so uh, i think this is going to be the end of today's video uh, I'll see if there are some other things I can add, but if not, yeah, see you in the next video. Make sure you take good care of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, uh, leave your comments there, and I will reply to your comments. This is Malik Sterling, and I'm out.